How are you? Hello, how are you? Are you in Toronto now? I'm in Toronto and I'm so happy because the opening shot in the first is like the Royal Alexandra Theater. And I'm like, <laughs> we shot a contest. So uh, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god. Okay, I guess I have to first start off by telling you guys how much I loved the series. I finished it last night, and okay. every episode I was like, oh, even though I kind of know it might have been coming, but I just couldn't stop gasping. So, Kita, I want to start with you because you have a long time affiliation to this whole whole story. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, about five years ago now, I think it was July 2018 or June 2018, I got a message um, uh, and the public theater here in New York had suggested to Aaron Mark that I do the podcast. And yeah. I was like, oh my God, I've loved public theater. If they say to do it, I should probably do it. I got to talk to him before I said yes. And he was just the most giving man. He was so attentive. He was so wanting to hear what I had to say in my opinions about the script jumped to it coming out October, 2018. Great. Then I heard through the grapevine because we started becoming really close friends. Oh, I think it's being sold. It was sold for production. You know, I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> and here, lo and behold, here we are. It's turned yeah. into a whole TV series with Amazon and Blumhouse. And yeah. um, I think that process of getting to know the character, getting to be some sort of a you know, in his ear talking about the development of the character and him, you know, welcoming that with open arms. It's been such a, an amazing opportunity, especially for your first, you know, real TV show out, you know, yeah. modeling and then some acting in theater. That's not something you really get to see all the time. So I feel truly blessed. And my overall experience with TV show and the podcast and the whole source material has been amazing. Oh, I, I can imagine what a, what a gift to be able to develop uh, Nelly too, right? For sure, I would think. Um, K Todd, for you, uh, I, I love Jeremiah. You know, he's not just a meat delivery guy. He's he's in you know he's invested uh, in Dolores because he feels something is not good there. What, you know, how for you when you got this material? I want to know what your initial reaction was to it because it's just such a juicy series yeah i uh really love the fact that it starts jeremiah starts off one thing and you said you finished it last night and it becomes completely like <laughs> it takes a turn you know so oh, yeah i love i love that that to me is interesting and and, and um so he's not necessarily what you think from the beginning and it's a nice subtle change um yeah. so yeah. uh uh I, and aaron was very very instrumental in inviting us into the writer's room he said this is an idea I have what do you think about it so we bounced back and forth on how to create this character so it was I felt very blessed that we were able to all of us were able to really have a lot of input into the arc of our characters over the first season and that yeah. more so than normal yeah yeah I, I would think so um you know I Keita, I want to well first of all I got to tell you I don't think I'm ever going to eat an empanada in my life again I just wanted to know from you like how do you feel about that now? Like, did it did it change your opinion of empanadas? <laughs> no, I think it was just, you know, it's that exact time, maybe like only, I don't know, the days I had to eat them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I have, I will admit, I have not had um, an actual empanada since. I mean, I have, okay. I have other encased type, you know, things <laughs> other cultures, but I definitely don't think I'll have any sort of feeling about having one in the future. I definitely, I could even have one today. It just hasn't come up that I've had one. So okay. yeah, didn't you write, didn't you write your own rap? Yes, I did. So in the third episode, you hear a little bit of me doing like, um, my loco. It's something that I, yes. remember today. <laughs> I came to Aaron one day and I was like, I think this would be really fun. Instead of just saying like, uh, uh, more bananas would you like to try samples I just was like trying to give something to Nelly and he was yeah. like just want to buy them and see if it's great and we got it so it was that kind of you know working relationship so if we wanted to try things you know get a couple clean takes and then we were allowed to play a little bit and I loved yeah. that I was I didn't know that was possible like I said this was my first big film thing so TV yeah. So it was so interesting to get to see that. And then coming from theater, you don't improvise at all unless it's an improv yeah. 
gestational, you know, things. So that was so fun to try to get to stretch that leg. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Kay Todd, I gotta, I gotta say, you know, I have to tell you like Sweeney Todd is actually one of my favorite shows that I'd love to see on Broadway and just in film and whatever. And I go, I don't know what that says about me, but then I watch this series and I'm like, oh my God, I love this series. Am I crazy? Like what's wrong with me? Like, why do we well, love this kind of stuff? Look, there's not, obviously there's nothing wrong with you that I know, uh, but uh, we all love it. And, and um, we love, uh, well, first of all, this is based on, just to put it out there, this is yes. based on the original Sweeney Todd story, not necessarily yes. the musical, but, yes. um, uh, but it's just, we like stories that are unexpected. And you kept saying, you even though you kind of knew what was happening with each episode, what would happen, you were still surprised and still yeah. there was something new that did happen. Right. Um, and so we all like to our expectations to be thrown off you know, we like to be surprised. We like to see what's new. And I think that's what Aaron's done so great in the writing and the creation of this show is that he's taken what we might think is familiar and thrown us off our secure little ground a little yes. bit and surprised us. And I think that's what's wonderful about, um, well, the writing in general, what all the writers yeah. have done, Dara, Brian, I mean, all the ones writers whose names I don't know, and forgive me. For yeah, that. but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, it, like you say, it, yeah, it's brilliant. It really is brilliant. And um, I, you know, we have to talk about uh, Justina because, you know, my God, what she does in this series, like I'm, I was just blown away at each episode and how she, um, it just gets better and better. You know, just quickly, uh, Kita, what was it like to work opposite her and just watch her and where she goes with this character? She's powerful. <laughs> She's very powerful. She brought me up to, you know, uh, she, she called me to bring my level to a higher level. You know what I mean? It was, it was a crash course for me to do um, film or yeah. television. So while as I was learning, you know, some of my attention was taken into, you know, learning the ins and outs, but I was able to focus in when I was with her and she called all of my powers <laughs> to be able to give, you know, that performance that was needed. And I wanted, because I saw how great that she was, how much depth she had, how, yeah. you know, how capable she is. I, she made me want to do that for her, for the character of Dolores. Um, yeah, it was just, yeah. it, it was the perfect combination. You know, they say uh, spite, sweet and salty, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it came together like the perfect combination. Yeah, and Kay Todd, how about you? You had some oh, great no, I, I loved, I loved working with Justina. Uh, her, what I loved the most was the complexity of what she was doing. Yes. The of what she was doing, the layers. It was been so easy to, to, to get a good performance out of someone who was just giving you what you would expect. Yeah. But what she does is, is the complex, the nuance in her performance is extraordinary. Yeah, and I hope people really appreciate that, even though it's a horror genre, even though it's, you know, it's it's not, you know, this is us or whatever, you know, I hope they really appreciate the the, the wonderfulness of what she, of what the, the sophistication of what she's doing on screen. Yeah, well, seeing how this is about food, I just have to ask, Kita, you first, uh, did you have any places in Toronto that you love to go to, any restaurants? Um, you know, I... There was a place I wanted to go that I didn't get to go to. There's um, a native market yeah. that is not a restaurant. I forget it's, I think it's north, a little north in, um, if you're downtown, because I'm okay. on Chippewa, which is um, Toronto's on Chippewa land. Yes. Um, so <laughs> have Chippewa. So it was exciting to even be there in the first place um, to go see, you know, theater makers and all the things like that and yeah. I, I I don't originate that far from you know Michigan Indiana area um yeah. but I didn't get to go there but that's I want to say that's where I would like to go so next you'll time come I'm back go. you'll come you'll come back and very quickly I got to wrap up Kate Todd anything any restaurant that stood out for you in yeah Canada? you know I, I hate that you asked me this without preparation because there were sorry <laughs> there were there were two there's an Asian a Chinese I want to say a, a yeah. Canadian 
famous chef, famous chef guy with the restaurant down on Queen Street. West, okay, okay. Okay. Who I've seen him on like Top Chef and things like that. I yes. went to this restaurant, which was great. And there was another guy who was a Japanese sort of omakase restaurant that was really fancy that I loved, which is also like more toward the Don River. And I can't remember the name of either of these restaurants, but I did, there's lots of, what I've always said about whenever I work in Toronto is there's yeah. lots of great food diversity and there's tons of great food. So Absolutely. Cream fried cheese. Love it. Love it. The cream fried cheese on the stick. Oh, okay. 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 Well, listen, I love talking to you guys. Thank you so much for this really fantastic series. My fingers are crossed for season two. I think it's going to happen. I already want it. So there you go. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Bye guys.